before we leave, we finally have our guest. He came in here a little late, but he made it in here. Bernard Charbonneau. Uh, yes. How and are I Charbonnet? appreciate you. Charbonnet. Yeah. My apologies there. Uh, we've been promoting the fact that you were going to give us a, a little bit more of a perspective of just the economic impact of what this oil spill is going to do. So we don't have a lot of time, but we had some oystermen here. They're very nervous. Tell me well, how bad anxiety, it's anxiety is laden all over this place. You have to understand that, that when we first think of economic impact, we think of oystermen, fishermen, and the like. But there's shipping concerns. Keep in mind that the, the Port of New Orleans is a significant entry point to right. America, to the, to the heartland. Right. And as shipping is deterred going to other ports, you have interest all along the river, oil men, uh, steel manufacturers, rubber manufacturers, all of this is affected all up and down the river from New Orleans up to Cincinnati. So there are significant tourist impacts, cancellations of condos, cancellations of, uh, of uh, hotels. Well, it's funny you said this, the, the president place. himself brought up the tourist issue. He, he said did. the governors of Alabama and Mississippi and Florida in particular were trying to send the message, hey, our, you know, it had, the oil's not here, don't be afraid to come, and the oil's only hit a couple of spots right now, don't be afraid to come Memorial Day But, but there's an anxiety here, yeah. and if you're in Philadelphia and you're coming down to the Gulf Coast, you say, oh, I don't know, maybe I don't know. I'm you saying, feel a little bit guilty, frankly, to come down here and relax when you know nobody here is relaxing. Listen, this, has, this is affecting the very vortex of our culture. Everything we do, shrimp, oysters, that's our way of life. Yesterday, Representative Charlie Melanson was crying. I, know. I mean, we feel this. You know, shrimp to us is like a hot dog stand to you in New York. Right. If they eliminated every hot dog stand in Manhattan, you'd go crazy. No, you wouldn't because you're skinny. <laughs> but <laughs> tell, tell me this. Ahead. Message to the president today. You're going to message to the president says, number one, I was, I was uh, warmed by his, by his speech. He said everything I needed to hear. I just think he said it a little too late. Had he said it a week ago, it would have raised my comfort level much better. And this re uh, relationship between BP and the government, is it just frustrating to everybody but you understand it? You or know, I don't understand it. That, to me, BP and Transocean and Halliburton are callous and reckless. And they have, they have taken us out of sync here. For years, fishing and, and oil were in sync. Right now, that's got to be recalibrated some kind of way. And tell us this. if. If this spill is stopped, the cleanup, though, is going to take, what, what are some estimates you're hearing? How long do you think that the oil is going to affect, particularly the shrimp? And well, we can industry? only look at the Valdez, yeah. you know, and that's only half the size of this. And that's still, those people are still affected by that. We're more concerned about the estuaries and whether or not we will be able to eat oysters and enjoy shrimp in the way we have our lives for generations. This is a generational, cultural, economic, philosophical issue to us at every level. And what is it that you feel like the government wasn't getting at that point? Is it just I, the well, fact that it's this back-to-back, -back, this psychological impact that five years ago was Katrina, and that's a different type of disaster, but all of a sudden it's like, here we go again? I mean, we seem to be in the very sites of every disaster, and we are laden with the debts and the SBA loans and the grants from Katrina, Rita, Gustav. It just doesn't stop. You know, and somebody's got to be sympathetic to who we are and what we're doing here. All right, Bernard Charbonnet. I'm sorry I was late. I'm glad you yeah. made it. Yes. Uh, you brought an interesting perspective yeah. to what's going Good on to see here. I watch the show. Thanks very much.